Hey guys, what's up? I've been uh, meaning to make this video for a long time now. So finally here it is. So if you're watching this video, you might have one of these two reasons. Your phone is probably two or three years old and has gradually become slow and less responsive. Or the second option might be that you just made a bad choice buying that phone and you regret it now. Be it any of these things, I have five tips that will help make your phone faster and uh, smoother. So before we get started, if you want to watch more cool stuff like this, please consider hitting the subscribe button. We're just getting started so it would mean a lot to me. So now let's get started. So the first thing to do is to start by resetting your phone. Now this is what I consider makes a lot of difference because your phone might be uh, accumulating a lot of cash from the apps that it has and a lot of malware from a long long time. So resetting the phone will help you get a fresh start and uh, will take a lot of load off the processor of your phone. So this uh, believe me will help a lot. So if you have a lot of important files you can just back up your messages, contacts, copy of photos and videos to uh, your PC etc. So that shouldn't be a lot of problem. To do this you just need to go to the backup and reset uh, section of your Android phone and uh, reset your phone. So from this point you can install the apps that you only use frequently and are very necessary and not uh, install a lot of things that you just won't use and will be lying over in your phone for months and months just consuming your storage. The second thing is using light versions of the apps. Now a lot of apps have lighter versions of them that are like less resource intensive and are uh, less demanding to your processor. For example, Google has a lot of light versions for their apps like YouTube and uh, Maps. And also if you are a Facebook type of person, Facebook also has a light version including the light messenger version. So these apps uh, do not also take up a lot of storage. So that might be like killing two birds with one shot. So that will help you a lot. This will also reduce your data consumption, storage consumption and make your phone faster and smoother. So who tells no to this? The third thing is to change the launcher of your phone. Now the launcher that comes with your phone might not be the best launcher for your phone. Like if for example if you are using a Samsung phone like uh, S6 or S7, the TouchWiz launcher might be a little bit heavy on the processor. So consider using some of the third party launchers like uh, Nova launcher for example or Launcher, Rootless Pixel launcher. There are a lot of options. These will help your phone feel a lot smoother. Now installing this is not a very difficult task. You just go to Play Store and install whatever launcher you like. Now this makes uh, this gives a completely new look to the phone and makes it faster. So good option I would say. So the fourth tip I have is to disable the battery saver. I know a lot of you might not like this but it's a battle between battery saving and performance. So you have to give up one for another because most of the battery savers as you know work by limiting the CPU speeds so that they can stop the background activities and save on the battery life. So Turning off your battery saver helps uh, increase the performance of your phone while you'll have to sacrifice on battery life if that's what you're willing to live with. So I'll advise you to turn off the battery saver and see the difference for yourself. Now the fifth and the last tip I have for you is if you're installing unknown apps from unknown sources like internet, uh, please don't do that because a lot of these apps from unknown websites have uh, what we call bugs and malware these things can uh, run in the background even if you close the app and uh, can consume a lot of battery life and also because they are running in the background they can uh, take up a part of your processing power which in turn makes your phone laggy sometimes slower and irresponsive so always uh, download apps from like trusted sources play store is the best because nowadays they are having something like play protect which uh, is verifying all the apps for malware and uh, bugs. So that's the last thing I'd advise you. So if you follow all these five things, uh, hopefully your phone becomes a lot faster and uh, smoother than it's already is. So let me know if this helped you in the comment section below. Don't forget to like the video if you uh, like what you're watching on this channel. Consider subscribing as I've mentioned in the beginning of the video. It would mean a lot to me. And uh, bye bye now. See you in the next one.